थैंक यू Ladies and gentlemen, today we have bought drugs illegally. That is without a proper medical prescription. You might consider this as a normal practice, but this practice approximately kills 50 lakh people a year. Let me explain clearly. This amoxicillin tablet clearly has a caution message and a letter RX stating that this should not be sold without a proper medical prescription. Whereas this paracetamol tablet neither has a caution message nor the letter RX in it. So. This problem has to be addressed ASAP in our country right now. But yet, no social media influential doctor talks about it. I don't know why. So today we'll be breaking down what's exactly wrong with this tablet and some hidden truths about the pharmaceutical companies of India. So let's go. Have you ever seen the mosquito repellent commercials that say New Good Night Liquid with Advanced Formula? Why do they keep upgrading it? That's because the mosquitoes are getting smarter. They evolve. That's the reason why we are able to see mosquitoes sitting on top of mosquito repellent machines. The same thing is happening with bacteria as well. Let's say a person is diagnosed with pneumonia. A serious lung infection often caused by a bacterium called Streptococcus pneumoniae. To fight this, doctors mostly prescribe an antibiotic called amoxicillin. Bacteria like Streptococcus pneumoniae are protected by a rigid outer wall made of a unique substance called peptidoglycan. These peptidoglycans are linked by short peptide chains and the whole structure is stitched together by an enzyme called transpeptidase. The antibiotic amoxicillin blocks this transpeptidase enzyme by binding to it and prevents it from building or repairing the cell wall. Without a strong cell wall, the bacteria weakens, swells and eventually bursts to death. So right now you might think antibiotics like amoxicillin actually help our bodies. But then how did amoxicillin contribute to the death of 50 lakh people in a year? Let me explain that with a simple experiment. Let's take a gram of sand which naturally contains many types of bacteria. Add it to 50 ml of water and mix well. Now take 1 ml of this mixture and add it to 9 ml of distilled water. This gives us a 10 power minus 1 dilution. Next, take 1 ml from the 10 power minus 1 dilution and again add it to 9 ml of distilled water. This gives a 10 power minus 2 dilution. We'll repeat the same dilution process over and over until we reach a 10 power minus 10 dilution. Why? Because sand contains millions of bacteria. We need to reduce the concentration to isolate a manageable amount of bacteria for our test. From the final dilution, take 1 ml and put it into a petri dish containing nutrient agar, a substance that helps bacteria grow. Leave the petri dish overnight. By the next day, you'll notice white colonies spreading across the dish. These are bacteria now place a small antibiotic in the center of the petri dish soon you'll see a clear zone around the antibiotic where bacteria cannot grow this is called the zone of inhibition it shows the antibiotic is working but here's where it gets interesting take some bacteria from the edge of the clear zone and transfer them into a second petri dish with fresh agar again place the same antibiotic at the center this time you might notice the zone of inhibition is smaller and more bacteria survive near the antibiotic in other words the bacteria have started to become less sensitive to the antibiotic repeat this process a few more times and you'll reach a point where the antibiotic has little to no effect the bacteria continue to grow even in antibiotics presence these bacteria have evolved adapted changed their structure and behavior to resist the antibiotics this process is known as antibiotic resistance now that's the reason why mosquitoes become immune to mosquito repellents over time they mutate and evolve passing on the resistant traits to the next generation but here's the real danger when you take an antibiotic without doctor's prescription you might actually feel temporarily relieved but inside your body the bacteria are taking notes they learn they mutate and one day the same medicine that made you feel better won't work anymore and it doesn't just affect you these stronger bacteria can infect others this turns a personal health issue into a public health crisis in some cases no drugs work leading to un treatable infections that's how superbugs are born and they are already killing 50 lakh people a year in india children are especially vulnerable and millions of antibiotics are either misused or overused every year 
problem is that antibiotic can destroy all the good bacteria in your small intestine as well and it is very difficult to repopulate in a short period of time the scary part is few doctors give solutions and prescriptions to patients through social media rather than consulting them in real life and most doctors prescribe antibiotics just to satisfy the patients people like you and me want quick relief and antibiotics offer that but it comes with a deadly cost if you find this video informative kindly like this video and share it with your friends if you want to watch more similar contents subscribe to our channel chitty glue so summing up we should stop opting for quick relief by consuming unprescribed medicines be aware of the consequences and try to consume only doctor prescribed medicines for your own good health i'll see you in another one until then this is rakesh signing off